Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Now, right here is where I want to dwell a little while. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Now, let, let's just take a little break here and kind of stretch a little bit. How many, has, has this been pretty plain so far, Kenneth? I mean, we they couldn't do nothing without the Holy Ghost. They, they tried, but they couldn't do it. Jesus come himself, and he appointed Paul, didn't he, to be that twelfth apostle. What if they had a got their way? And what if God had overlooked it the way they does in churches nowadays? Not that God overlooks it, but everybody votes on the pastors and the deacons, and they vote on everybody who's going to be over them and who's going to be this, that, and the other. What if it happened then, and Matthias had been in there? And this word is going to judge us. This is what going to, we're going to have to give account to, is the knowledge that we have in this word. What if that would have happened, and they would have went ahead, and they, it would have been settled like that, and Paul would have never come into the scene because they done had Matthew put in the position. Think about that now. That's a scary thought. We wouldn't be reading much because there wouldn't be no New Testament written, would they? We might have had to wait for another 2,000 years before God could have made other covenants and other dispensations of time to come about to where that he could have got a people to the place of where we are today. And we don't need to esteem the position that we've been set in lightly because we've been put in a place of kings and priests. We have. Paul said to start it out here, he said, I didn't come to you speaking enticing words of man's wisdom. Listen, Paul was qualified. Don't never think Paul wasn't qualified. He sat under at the feet. When it says about at the feet, that means that he sat under their tutorage. They would sit around somebody and they call that setting at the feet of him. Paul said at Gamaliel or however you pronounce his name the instructor that was one of the best that there was anywhere in that civilization at the time. Paul was a chief of the Pharisees. Paul knew more about the law than any man on the face of the earth known. Paul was versed, well versed in his mannerisms and his uh, any of his reading and all the things he knew, he was on top. But Paul said, I didn't come to you. The speaking enticing words of man's wisdom. He said, I come to demonstrate the spirit and the power of God. He said, I made it a point not to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Now, he come to demonstrate the spirit and the power. Was that meaning he is going to come and to heal people and do all that? That's not exactly what he's talking about here, Brandon. He's talking about what he's getting ready to explain here. He come to show them this mystery that we've been talking about here. About what the Holy Ghost is set up to do through us and in us. He said again... I, down in verse 4, he said, In my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in the demonstration of the Spirit and the power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Wouldn't it be great if nowadays that, the, that, our, that our experiences and our, our knowing of God would stand in the revelation of him and not in the, what men said about it? Wouldn't it be awesome? Let's, 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 before we read any more there, let's just skip back over here and go to, to the list page over, I guess it is in your Bible, in Romans chapter 16 and verse uh, 25. Paul here again, he said, Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelations of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began, but now is manifest and by the scriptures. 
I'll tell you what, Ken was talking about people hollering and squalling and going on this morning. If that right there can't get nobody pumped up, they ain't nothing to pump yet. Are they? He said this, this, I, I, I feel honored, Kenneth. He said this, it's been kept secret, that Isaiah, Abraham, Jacob, David, Moses, they didn't know nothing about this, but Herb King does. He's got access to it. Man, I'm, I'm privileged, ain't you? I count myself privileged. He said this has been hid, kept secret since the world began. But now, everybody say, but now, is manifest and by the scriptures, it's manifest by this word that's going to judge. Amen? The scripture of the prophets, according to the commandments of the everlasting God, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. Hallelujah. Ain't that good news? Now let's skip back over where we was at in chapter 2 of Corinthians 1. 